Hello everyone, this is Miguel Perez Colino. I'm the product manager for Migration Analytics, but first let me introduce my team. So we are the Red Hat Modernization and Migration Solutions team, and we build tools for you to migrate, modernize your infrastructure. You know, the 6R framework that uh, AWS made uh, famous, you know, retire, retain, refactor, replatform, re uh, repurchase. So what we're doing is we are addressing all of, all of those uh, ours so you can find which one is best for you in your own environment so we are focused on three pillars one of them is optimizing infrastructure so you have your own infrastructure move to an infrastructure that is open source that is more cost effective and that you can run your production workloads also modernize applications bringing them from proprietary uh, application servers to open source application servers and even to containers and accelerate innovation by helping you also uh, find the way to transform your methods and, uh, and uh, the practices and the culture in your, in your organization. So this is what we do. One of the tools that we have, of course, is the analysis tools to understand your environment. And this one is what the one I'm going to talk about, Migration Analytics. So what is Migration Analytics about? It's about drawing the map. You know, sometimes you have a small IT environment and you know every single street in your street, uh, like in a map, you know. Uh, this one, for example, is from Wichita and we have uh, all the streets and you can get to know like every street when you live in a city that is not really big and every corner and everything in your street and every road but when your your city is more like Berlin that is huge and it has thousands of streets and roads and public transport and places it's much more difficult normally your IT environment it could be more like this and we are trying to help you find which are the, the sweet spots for you like as if you were in Berlin looking for a good uh, Japanese restaurant and you said okay what can I do somebody lend you a map with their Japanese restaurants there it's like okay now I can choose now I know where to go so this is what we're going to to help you do find the right the best places for you to be able to move your workloads and transform them and take them to the hybrid cloud again migration analytics what is under the hood how does it work so for migration analytics, we're already leveraging a product in Red Hat that is called CloudForms. And what CloudForms does is it connects to your VMware environment, your vCenter, and it can manage it and it can do a lot of things with it. In this case, we're only using it to extract the information. So the good thing is that we are using this tool that has been battle tested, that is in production in many customers, and that is already um, in production, as I said. So CloudForms will connect to your VSP environment and it will extract the metadata from your virtualization environment. Being able to get the list of the VMs, the disks that are associated to them, the size of them, the memory, the CPUs, CPU affinity, and all the configuration related to it. CloudForms also has a feature that is called Smart State Analysis that can introspect the disk by making a snapshot of it. So this way, by introspecting the disk and, and seeing which files are on the disk, we can detect the workloads and provide a more fine-grained uh, result. What do we do then once we have in inspected the environment? We generate what we call a payload with a, a two-fold uh, goal. One is, of course, if your environment is isolated from the internet, you can connect the laptop, uh, manage cloud forms, extract the data, put that data in the laptop and then connect it to the internet so you don't have anything connected to the internet at the same time, you know, and you can upload this to cloud over Hadacom. The second one is that you, of course, can introspect all the data that you're going to upload to cloud over Hadacom to ensure that you're comfortable sharing that data with us. So once you have the payload to upload to cloud over Hadacom, to go to the migration analytics service and it will process it with a set of rules that have been made with help from Red Hat Consulting and Red Hat uh, uh, professionals, uh, engineers and so on that have worked in several migration processes and that can highlight what are the issues and how it works. So once you've done that, you will get those recommendations, those reports based on those rules and you will be able to make your own decisions. What's under the hood? We are using all the, all the Red Hat tools that we have available that make sense, for example, the G-Scale API management or part of life for the interface. We are also using Red Hat Fuse for the integration, Red Hat AMSQ Streams, Kafka, which is the supported version of Kafka, and then Decision Manager for the rules. And of course, OpenShift and RHEL under the hood. So let's let's take a look at a demo. Let's, let's take a look at 
what it looks like. So this is where Cloud Forms is already connected to, to a VMware environment and it can give you a lot of introspects, a lot of data on, on what is running here. So I could go to compute infrastructure providers and check that I have a provider that is called vSphere that I, that I have configured it myself. In this case, it has smart state analysis. That's why it has this, this yellow shield and it, it is connected and it's getting all the data. Let's go a bit deep into it. We see it's got one cluster to host. This is a tiny environment, a tiny lab environment running on cloud. So it's uh, nested virtualization. So the performance is expected to be huge. But still, I mean, we can see the VMs, some, some are powered on, some are powered off. We can introspect also powered off VMs. And of course, one we have everything, once we have this configured, it could take you like around one hour, maybe two, depending on the complexity the, of your environment. We can go to migration, migration analytics. In here, we click on get started, and then we'll examine the virtualization providers to, to give us a, an overview of the providers that we have connected to. In this case, it's only one. We could have like four or five, and we could see the size, the number of VMs, the, the disk allocated, and the memory allocated and so on. Also, this could help plan for the target environment that is going to host these, these VMs. So we click on collect inventory data. We have the basic data. This could be obtained in, in as one hour, probably less. Okay, this doesn't have any introspection added to it and it cannot detect the workloads, but it can provide a good overview. And in this case, we have the detailed data that it has introspected and found all the workloads that are running the environment. So we click on the provider, click continue, and it will collect the inventory data and generate, as we call it before, the payload. So once the inventory data is collected, we can download the inventory file and then save it. And then we're going to use it afterwards. Before we use it, we can go to the VMware cluster. We see that we have the VMs running, same VMs that CloudFonds is managing. So everything's okay. Everything is running on this cluster and it's, it's already working. So we have connected these platforms to this cluster. We see the VMs, we have generated a payload. You could go to the documentation to see how everything is configured. We have a pretty good, good documentation. Just search for migration analytics uh, official documentation and you will get here. If not, you could always go to, to this is a very cool address, red.ht slash migration dash analytics. And then you'll find the product page and you'll have a link here to the official documentation, product documentation, did you see it here? And also if you want to request an evaluation of CloudForms, you can request it here and then download CloudForms and be able to, to run it yourself. You see, you, here you will request the, the evaluation. So once we have, again, the payload, we go to cloud.com, we'll have to have an account. Normally I'm logged in, I have my own account. If you're a, a Red Hat customer, you probably have an account already. If not, you can create one for free and go to Migration Services, Migration Analytics. Okay, I have several reports here. How do I create these reports? I click Create. You know, I search for the data file that I just downloaded. And then I give it a name, you know. This is intended to be uh, make some calculations on, on a migration from VMware to rehabilitation. So we have to provide a, a year over year growth rate for the hypervisors. How much do we think our, our hypervisors are going to grow in the next year to make a, a good estimation? And then the migration period. So for example, this is uh, intended for a three year, but if I want to make it two years, I just remove this from here and then increase it here. In case I want to do a migration faster, I could do it in two years or even less. I mean, we have had migrations that only last uh, some months. So we can click create report. It uploads and then it will be processed. So let me go to this report I already have created. This is a report for an environment with 314 uh, hypervisor hosts, okay? And the estimated savings for this are nine, a bit more than $900,000, okay? The cost here for VMware is the maintenance cost during the migration period, three years in this case, and the green ones are the cost for the rehabilitation 
subscriptions. So how is the breakdown calculated? Okay, we have the cost estimated for VMware. These estimations have been built based on documentation that we read from IDC and Carter and also the online calculators and then curated it with our own uh, Salesforce uh, team and, and reviewed. So we have realized that these, uh, these are pretty good. You know, they are a very educated guess on the expenditure that you may have on, on your VMware ELA. Then we have the cost that we have for the hypervisors and the growth. We also include training here to be able to train for people with learning subscriptions. These learning subscriptions uh, allow the four people that are uh, added here to be able to access the full Red Hat uh, learning portfolio and have access to, if I recall correctly, three uh, examinations during one year. So also Red Hat Consulting to deploy the target platform, in this case, Red Hat Virtualization. So we have a, a pre-scoped engagement for uh, deploying Red Hat Virtualization, engaging uh, in, in deploying uh, cloud phones for a migration, uh, preparing the migration, uh, preparing the test, enabling the customer, launching the first uh, migration test, and then letting the customer do the migration with the help of our support team. And then travel and lodging. So this customer, this example is for uh, savings of, uh, as I said, almost around uh, more than $900,000, almost 1 million, that could be invested in things like uh, automation or containerization or moving the cloud. What else? We have the workload migration summary. And here we'll review what we have found. We have, as I said, some rules that are going to detect if there are issues to bring the VMs to Rehab Virtualization, OpenStack platform. And now we have OpenShift Virtualization, which is in tech preview. And it will have also rules to tell you, okay, maybe you could bring these VMs to, to OpenShift Virtualization. So we gave a recommendation on the target. Also the difficulty of the migration. This is based on issues with, well, issues, characteristics of the VM that we have found that it could make the migration more difficult. Let me explain it with an example. This is a raw device mapping. When a, a VM has a raw device mapping, we need to detach that disk, that raw device disk, and then migrate the VM and then reattach that disk or migrate it to a new storage array and then reattach it there. So this means that the migration is going to require more effort, okay? But uh, we realize that and we say, okay, this, this VM is medium to migrate. If we have shared disks, same thing, you know, we have to detach this disk, then migrate the VMs, then reattach the disk. So if we have more than one of these, what we call flags, then we consider, okay, this, this is going to be hard to migrate. This is medium. We also tag for unknown uh, things that we need to review uh, one by one in a case by case basis. So we can find the corner cases uh, early enough. So they are not, a, they're not a problem. We also take a look at the information of the operating system. So we have also tools to migrate from CentOS to Red Enterprise Linux in a supported manner, also from Oracle Linux. So if you have CentOS VMs that are running and you want to have them supported, we could migrate those CentOS VMs to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and then you will have them supported as any other Red Hat Enterprise Linux. What else? We check also for JDKs. Oracle JDK now uh, requires a, a payment, a, a license. So if you don't want to pay those licenses, you could migrate them to open the Red Hat's build of Open JDK, replacing it, uh, replacing the Oracle JDK, and saving some money in, in here. So again, another case for you to be able to migrate. And then the uh, enterprise application platforms. So if you have, uh, let's say, Oracle Web Logic, uh, and you think, okay, maybe we should migrate to something that is more lean and more fast and, and, and also uh, more cost effective. You could consider moving it to JBoss CAP. So uh, this could be a step one, moving them to JBoss CAP. JBoss CAP is, of course, supported in OpenShift. So if you want to move them to containers, you could do it in two steps. First, moving them to JBoss CAP and then uh, adapting them in JBoss CAP to run on OpenShift. So that could be another migration that could be considered. So in here we have seen the targets that we have available. Then we have to consider what is the strategy. Of course, for that we have, we have what we call a uh, discovery session in which uh, pre-sales, sales, sales uh, and an architect get together with you in a one day, normally one day, sometimes two days um, process in which we review everything with you. So we can propose a plan, we can propose a project with you and also on a scope and everything will be based on the data we have extracted. So you will have a very uh, accurate scope 
for that project and we will review the savings so you can have a more accurate uh, statement on the savings that you could perform. Last but not least, the execution. When we do the migration, we want to go VM by VM. So we could export the full list as CSV file and then manage it itself. Or we could go directly here and see the VMs that are running here. So I could filter this, for example, by workload and I could filter it by Tomcat. So in Red Hat, we have JBoss Web Server, which is a supported version of Tomcat, like Red Hat build of Tomcat. And, uh, and you could run all these applications that you have running in Tomcat. And this is, these are a good target to be containerized because Tomcat applications are normally not clustered and they do not share storage. And so you could consider these applications, the Tomcat application, in this case, in this case are 400 servers to be moved to containers instead of moving the VMs and move them to OpenShift. Or you could check other workloads like, for example, uh, Microsoft SQL and see how big the, the VMs are. Oh, we have 460 here. Okay, let's take a look. We see we have them running on Windows. We could move them to Linux or not. We could keep them in a VM running on top of rehabilitation or we could containerize them because, I mean, in this case, you could go to catalog.rehab.com and check for the supported containers on OpenShift and see if this one could be containerized. So we go to certified software, we go to container images, and then we go to database and data management, and we check with Microsoft, and here is. So we have a certified image for OpenShift of, Reha, of, my, of Microsoft SQL Server for OpenShift by Reha. So these are the things that you could do with uh, migration analytics. Again, as I said, we are providing you targets in your own map, you know, which are the, the best Japanese restaurants in Berlin, for example, for you to be able to, to have nice sushi, or in this case, for you to be able to take your, your workloads to the hybrid cloud. We have additional demonstrations on other tools that we have, like Pathfinder, which helps you with the assessment of applications, on, especially on the context of the application, how it is being maintained and so on, to see the suitability to containerize them. Of course, we have virtual machine migration that will help you do the virtual machine migration from from uh, from uh, VMware to rehabilitation or to Rehab OpenStack platform. We have uh, also ways to uh, import virtual machines. We have also ways, to, as I said, to migrate Oracle Linux or CentOS to Rehab Enterprise Linux and application migration in case you want to go deep into the application and check how to migrate it to containers or to JBoss and containers uh, or to Tom or Tomcat JBoss web server on containers. I mean, this tool can help you do it. And again, if you're running um, uh, OpenShift 3 and you want to move it to OpenShift 4 and get all the benefits from it, like for example, the uh, seamless upgrades or, or the operators, then we have a cluster application migration tool that could help you move all those containers. So these are the tools that we have in Rehab Modernization Migration Solutions. And of course, please feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to, to know about you, to know about uh, your status and your plans, and be able to help you migrate your, your workloads to, to open source platforms by Red Hat. Thank you very much.